what you'll need is some coffee liqueur, some vodka. I'll be using Stalichne vodka, but you can choose whatever you like. Some heavy cream. You can also replace the heavy cream with some light cream or some milk. And of course, some ice cubes. For the first way, I'm going to start off with the easiest one. So you'll need a glass, a jigger, and a shaker. Because I don't have a functioning shaker at home, I'm just going to use this jar with a lid on. So let's take two parts of vodka, add it to the shaker, one part of coffee liqueur and one part of cream. Add it in there, add some ice to the shaker, close the lid and give it a good shake. Fill your glass with some ice cubes and strain your drink in there. And there you go, that's number one. The second version will be more of a classic one. Take a glass and fill it up with ice. Now let's add two parts of vodka. One part of coffee liqueur. And finally one part of cream. But make sure to shake your cream up. That way it will be lighter and it will be easier to let it float on top. Take a spoon and pour your cream over it. There you go, that's the second version. And for the third version I'm going to show you how I was taught to make it the first time I made a white version. So take a glass and put some ice cubes in there. Take one part of coffee liqueur, put it in your glass. One part of cream and pour it on top of the coffee liqueur. And finally take one part of vodka and float it on top of cream. And there you have it. A three layered white Russian. As you can see the vodka isn't very clear but it's really hard to do so that's the closest I can get. And there you have it, the three versions of a white Russian.